let's look at how you can position, scale, and rotate, and animate all of the above. So let's bring in a graphic here, and we'll just drag and drop this. Now you can see that it takes up the entire frame of the program monitor. How do we fix that? I'll click on the clip. That brings up my effect controls panel, and here is where I can change the scale, right there. I can change the position of this as well by changing these here, up and down, back and forth. So this first number is the X axis, which is left to right or horizontal. The second number is always the Y axis, which is a vertical axis up and down. So position scale and rotation. If I change rotation on this, this is what happens. It starts to rotate. Now how to keyframe this. With my playhead at the beginning where it is, I will move this over and up just a little bit and set a keyframe for the position. So the first keyframe is set there and then halfway through the clip, like one and a half seconds, move this over and move it down right there. So now when I play through, it does this. So now it's animated. I can animate the scale as well. So let's remove those keyframes. So I will click the toggle animation icon, say OK, and then I will move this back into the center. And now we're going to change the scale. So let's bring our playhead back to the beginning and click on scale, bring this scale down to nothing and turn on animation at that point, go forward in time, bring my scale up to where it looks good, see right there, 50, and now watch the animation. As I play forward, that's what it does. Let's turn this off now and click OK, and now rotation. So bringing the playhead back to the beginning, hitting the rotation animation button. Let's go forward in time. That right now is zero degrees. Let's go forward in time. And let's bring this around one time and we'll end it right there. And now as I come back to the beginning and then play, that's what it does. So you can see how I've animated now the position, the scale, and the rotation. And I'll see you in the next video.